If you clicked on this video, you probably need help figuring out how to ship clothes on eBay. This is a shoe box. If you're not shipping shoes, you're probably not gonna need this. Next up, we have the padded flat rate envelope. A lot of people, a lot of resellers like using this. I myself never use this. It's because it's a little bit more expensive and I don't think it really adds that much value because most clothes, it's not gonna break in shipping. I'm gonna to talk to you today mainly about these four, which are the best ones that I use and where I ship most of my items out of. I'll talk to you about this big guy over here in a second, but for now, let's get into the best poly mailer I have used shipping items on eBay. I've sold over 17,000 items on eBay, and this is one of the main workhorses. This right here is a poly bag. They have different prices for these. I have the cheapest one linked because all of them are really good. They have this adhesive strip here that you pull off. It stretches pretty well. You can't see through it. So if you have like a really expensive item, it looks the same as a really cheap item. The measurements, I'll put a pop-up like right here or right here. This is the go-to for anything under one pound. If it's under one pound, you're gonna to wanna to use first class shipping. That's gonna get you the best deal. Anything over a pound, you're gonna to have to use something a little different. This is the next item I use if it's over one pound. This right here is the flat rate envelope. This is the smaller one. There are two flat rate envelopes. Now the rule with the post office is if it fits, it ships. This is how I like to open it up whenever I'm placing jeans or something a little bulky in here. Say it's a sweater that's over a pound. It comes with one adhesive strip on the top. Sometimes whenever you fold it because it ends up being a little bulky, you're gonna to wanna to put one piece of tape across the seam right here to ensure that it stays shut. A lot of people also tape on the sides here because there is a seam here where it's you know been glued whenever it was made. I myself don't waste my time doing that. If I do need to put another piece of tape, I'll just put an additional piece of tape along here to have two. But for the most part, this is gonna be really good for fitting in jeans and like sweaters that aren't too bulky. What do I do if it doesn't fit into the small flat rate? And that's where this guy comes in, the legal flat rate. Now with this legal flat rate, you're looking to pack items like 48 waist jeans, any sweaters that are just really big, like a 2XB or like a, a tall sweater, something like chunky knit, you're gonna be able to fit it in this guy right here. You're gonna follow the same rules as you did on the other one. You got your one piece of adhesive, you're gonna fold down in front and put another piece of tape across the front. That's gonna get you a nice seal. One thing I like to do is I fold the corners down. And the reason I fold the corners down is if it goes down the conveyor belts, sometimes it gets caught and it'll end up tearing. So if you fold it down, I will put a piece of tape here. Sometimes I fold it up and I fold this end down whenever it's sealed up and I put a piece of tape along here. I don't do it all the time, but during fourth quarter, whenever a lot of people are shipping and the post office is starting to get overwhelmed, it's best to secure your package a little more because they're gonna be working a lot faster and there's a higher chance that your item can get damaged. If you have multi-quantity orders, if a buyer buys more than one item and you cannot fit it in the flat rate envelopes, that's where this big poly bag comes in. This poly bag here, I'm gonna pop up the dimensions right here or possibly here. It's gonna fit up to about maybe eight to 10 items. It's gonna look like a giant pillow whenever you're done packing it, but this poly bag, which I'll have linked as well, is gonna be just as strong. You're gonna have to put a little bit more tape, I think, because if something pokes out of it, it will create like a little bit of a stretch in there. Ultimately, this is gonna be one of your best rates, and I use Pirate Ship whenever I'm shipping anything like this. It doesn't involve that much tape. You just have to put a couple pieces of tape, but it's not like a giant box. And speaking of giant boxes, let's get into the giant box. This box right here is the large mailing box for USPS. There's no flat rate tied to this. If we open this box up, you will see it's pretty big. You can fold the ends in and just really get an idea of how many items you can fit. The dimensions on this box are gonna be right here. Outside dimensions, 12.25 by 12 by eight and a half. This has to go priority. Priority shipping is more expensive. You cannot use the priority label boxes or bags or envelopes and ship it ground because when you use this priority box, it means it has to go priority. So this can be a little bit of an issue. You wanna to check to make sure that the person's close. You're gonna to wanna to use this if you cannot comfortably fit it in the large poly bag. I would also suggest using just a normal cardboard box. Now let's hop into the computer so I can show you guys how we do these labels and what I would do taking on the different items that I'm gonna pack. All right, in our eBay shipping tab, I picked out a few items to show you the examples we're gonna go through. 
So the first one is this Wrangler short sleeve button shirt. So this is gonna be a first class item. It's gonna go into the smaller poly bag. And I wanna show you guys the different rates that eBay has and the USPS has for eBay. So I do get a discount because you know we're shipping on eBay. And this is at four ounces. Four ounces is gonna be your cheapest rate. They want $3.97 for this one. But watch as I increase the amount of the weight, how much it's gonna jump. So we're gonna to go to the next bracket of price and it's gonna be nine ounces. So whenever you hit between five ounces and nine ounces, you're gonna be at this rate. And then there's one final rate. So if the item is a pound or like 15 ounces, it's gonna go all the way up to $6.60. And you could also do one pound zero ounces, which is the max for first class and it's gonna be the same price. So for this item, you're gonna to wanna to use the small poly bag. This next one is a military camo pants. Right here, I just put ones in there for the dimensions usually because you're gonna to have to change them anyway, but we're gonna to wanna to use this carrier package button right here. This carrier package button shows the flat rate for USPS. Flat rate envelope costs $7.60 for me as a top rated seller. And if I bump up to the legal flat rate envelope, it's gonna cost $7.90, which I can tell you right now, this being a 3XL, it's definitely gonna to need to go in a legal flat rate. If you wanna to go to compare services, we can see that the padded flat rate envelope is $8.30. So in my opinion, it would never make sense to choose the padded flat rate because whatever can fit in a padded flat rate can most likely fit in this flat rate envelope, the smaller one, or even the bigger one, and you're still saving a little bit of cents. Now you may be thinking 70 cents difference between the flat rate envelope and the padded flat rate isn't a lot, but whenever you're shipping 30 items a day or even like, let's just say 10,000 items for the year, that can really add up. So you always wanna go with the cheapest option that's gonna to get to the customer fastest. For this item here, it's a pair of Skechers. This item is probably not gonna fit in any of our carrier packages for flat rates. And I say that because these are really wide and I don't think it's gonna fit in the envelope. So in this situation, we're gonna to have to go to pirate ship. We're gonna to to use cubic shipping and we're gonna show you what it looks like here. So I've already selected the order for this one and you come up to this box here, it says type of packaging. We have box or rigid packaging, but what we're gonna to wanna to choose on pirate ship is this envelope, padded envelope, poly bag, soft bag, or box in a bag. And ideally what it is, is we're gonna be putting it in a poly bag. So you only need two measurements for the poly bag. And for shoes, I can tell you 14 by eight is gonna cover most shoes. And for pounds, let's just guess that it's two pounds, five ounces, even though these are less than two pounds. And then we're gonna press get rates and see what it comes up with. So for this one, Pirate Ship is saying for us to use UPS Ground because it's gonna be $8.80. But I don't wanna make two different trips whenever I'm delivering packages for uh, sending them out in the mail. I like to just do everything USPS. When you press the drop down, it shows you, you can go with Parcel Select Ground Cubic, which is the cheapest at $8.55, and then Priority Cubic Mail at $8.82. So you are saving a little bit of money, but it looks like it's gonna get there the same time although there's no insurance included so if you had a high dollar pair of shoes like and you wanted that hundred dollar insurance definitely pay the extra cost to go priority for me i would go ground cubic on this one just because it was a very low dollar sale and it's going to get there about the same time as if i were to choose priority so for our final example we're going to go to this one right here now this customer ordered three However, we're gonna assume that they ordered, let's say 13, and it's not gonna fit in the largest poly bag, but we're gonna have to use the priority mailing box instead. So for this example, we're gonna go five pounds, 13 ounces, and the dimensions for the outside of that large priority box were 12.25 by 12 by eight and a half. And for this, I usually go a little bit more than those dimensions, so we're gonna go 13 by 12 by nine, just to make sure that we're bigger than what the box is. So whenever we press the outside of the page, it'll populate how much it's gonna cost for priority mail. So 1852 is what it's gonna to cost to ship this with that priority box. But let's check Pirate Ship and see if there's a cheaper option available. So when we go to Pirate Ship, we're gonna use the box or rigid packing method, and we're gonna type in the same lengths as we did before, 13 by 12 by nine, and the weight was five pounds, 13 ounces. So then we're gonna scroll down and press get rates. We're mainly doing this so we can see this right here, the UPS ground, and they want 1359. So if we hop back to the priority, it was 1852. Now what you need to remember whenever you're choosing UPS is you cannot use the free post office packaging that's labeled priority or any of the packaging for that matter. You're gonna have to find another box to fit this. Let's look at the drop down though and see what it comes up with. So even on pirate ship, the priority mail is a little bit more and that's because we're using eBay shipping through USPS for the priority. And that's how we get this 22% discount. 
We could do parcel select ground with no insurance for 1277. It's one day longer for parcel select ground 3-31 as priority mail 3-30. I would probably go UPS ground or possibly even parcel select ground, but you're going to need a different box. So that's the main hiccup here. You have to determine is it worth saving the $6 or so to rebox the item and put it in a plain brown box or just pay extra and go with USPS priority and pay the $18.52. I hope these examples help you whenever you're deciding how to ship items on eBay. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.